of 360 and Raiders 10 and Darren Waller joining us now here on NFL Total Access. Thanks for joining us today, Darren. No problem. Thanks for having me. Now, your story, your journey featured on NFL 360 tonight. Your friend and former teammate, Steve, uh, Steve Smith Sr., our colleague, um, is really bringing the story. Now, I've seen the entire piece. I watched it last night. I was in full cheer chills, tears as well. Just one of the most honest and transparent things I've ever seen from an NFL player. Darren, why share all of this now? Uh, I just feel like the greatest weapon that I have is my story, uh, what I've been through. And I feel like that can help a lot of people that are struggling like I was struggling. Uh, and it's just something that can shed light to people and let them know that you can be great. You can overcome anything, no matter how many times you've fallen, how many times you've uh, failed. Now, for those watching at home, Darren is sharing his story of sobriety, of pushing through addiction and coming through to, to a new chapter in his life. And Darren, now that you're sober, how does it feel when you do look back at those darker days in your life? Um, I look back and I realize that everything happened for a reason. Like I went through everything to learn, to grow, to become who I am today. Because without those experiences, I can't say where I'd be or who I'd be right now. So I look back and I'm glad that I was able to weather those storms and to come through and come out the other side and be where I'm at now. And now my new mission is to you know, help people avoid some of the things that I went through. And even if they have gone through some of the things that I've gone through, to let them know, encourage them that, you know, there's still light ahead of you. There's still something great to look forward to. Now, Coach Harbaugh spoke in the feature about the two Darren Wallers. Uh, your father also spoke there about how he knew that something wasn't right with your soul. These are two men, obviously, who love you dearly. Why couldn't they help you at that point in your life? Uh, I don't think they could help me because I wasn't ready to help myself. Um, I was so caught up in the, the two Darren Wallers are so accurate because there would be someone I'd put on display for the public and everyone, really, everyone except myself. There'd be me and myself who I would deal with outside of the building when I looked in the mirror. Uh, so, you know, today I just try to, you know, be myself everywhere that I go uh, and know that, you know, who I am is good enough in any situation, any predicament. So I try not to you know, split myself up. I know that who I am is good enough in anything. You know, that dichotomy of the two uh, Darrens, right? Because watching you in the locker room when I was covering the Raiders last season, always smiling, you were just a quiet guy, focused on the game, but, you know, always just pushing through. Now, you mentioned later on in the feature uh, that you feel like you have a cheat code now for the game, now that you're clean and you're focused. When you look at the future of your career, what does that mean for it? Uh, yeah, when I say cheat code, I just mean it's like a like a real self-awareness of myself. At the same time, when I have that self-awareness, I don't beat myself up. I don't see myself as greater than I really am. It's just an honest confidence, um, a drive to be someone that impacts the lives of other people and treats other people right and, you know, cares about what they go through. So it's just me, you know, it, it helps me, recovery helps me be who I am, who I'm supposed to be. Whereas if I'm trying to do it on my own and how I was doing things before, you know, I just become so centered on myself. But now it's about, you know, how can I make this world a better place with the time I have? I mean, it helps that you're also very good at the tight end position, the things you do on in the field, something that Coach Gruden saw from you right away and brought you on to the silver and black. Darren, thank you so much for joining us. Really looking forward to seeing the feature and, of course, to watching you this week. All right. Thanks, MJ. Thanks for having me.